This is Sammy from TechBrew.com, and today I'll be reviewing the Mac Alley Ice Suit for the iPod Nano 3rd Generation. And there it is. I've actually got the iPod already in there. I'll show you the back of it. Let me show you the case, or the, sorry, the box, and all the fun stuff you get with it. You get a screen protector. It's in there. I haven't put it on yet. You get an instruction manual on how to use the cable management system on the back. And actually all the Mac Alley cases that I've got for, I received for the iPod 3rd uh, generation Nano has had one of these little accordion um, sheets showing all their products. Uh, well, not all their products, but a good portion of their products, which is pretty cool. Um, that's actually a really good way of uh, distributing your other information or other products to, uh, the, to the customer. So. Uh, really, thanks for that, Mac Alley. I actually like that a lot. Um, so, yeah. Okay. On to the review. This, uh, this is a rubber case. It's actually a non-slip case, meaning um, if you have a dashboard, if you have a car, and you put it on there, and you take a sharp right-hand turn or a sharp left-hand turn, not that you should, but this isn't going to go all the way from one side of the dash to the other. It will stay. It's pretty, pretty nice and sturdy. Um, I have one of those little gel things that I keep in my car. Every now and then I'll put my iPod or my iPhone on there so it doesn't slip around. In this case, you don't need it. Um, it just really sticks and grips to your dash pretty well, which is nice. Now, uh, first off the bat, I really, really hate these colors. Uh, black and orange makes me think of Halloween, and I don't like these colors at all. Mac Alley, get rid of the colors, offer a solid black or a solid... I, th that's my personal opinion, just so you know. Um, get rid of the funky color, go with a solid color, or at least give the consumer the choice. So that's, that's my choice, that's my opinion. Um, okay, so onto the ports. Again, fully accessible ports. So we've got the hold switch, the dock connector, the headphone jack. The headphone jack in this case actually will accommodate larger plugs, um, like my Shure E3Cs that I have. It will work. And dock connector. Works just fine. Also, one thing that's really nice about this case, with the uh, JBL speakers that I have, it's like a little donut looking dock um, at work. This will plug in there just fine. Um, don't need to take it out of the case at all. It works while it's in there, which is a very, very big plus. Okay, so on to the cable management system on the back. Now, you really don't need these directions in order to, to use it, but um, if you do read them, you'll actually find that there's more than just one way to store your headphones. Uh, personally, I really didn't use the storing the, the cable wrap very much. Um, I'm not, I don't really do that with my with my headphones. But there's a good way to do it, and the best way is to wrap it around. Sorry, to um, thread it through here. In my opinion, this is the, the way I like to do it, that I that I did it wrap it around and you can see we've got that little slot for you to stick it in through wrap all the way around and then put your headphones through oops I messed up let me try it again and you can put your headphones in through the top or back in through that loop again I mean, I'm sorry I'm just trying to I need like a cameraman to videotape this. Okay, so there's one way of doing it. Now, if you take the time to wrap it the right way, um, you'll actually get it to the other side as well. you got to figure out the slack and just practice makes perfect. But this is one of the easier ways to keep the headphones uh, from tangled. Now, this will probably work best with headphones that have a thinner cable. Um, I tried doing this with my Shure E3Cs, which have a very thicker gauge cable, and it just did not work at all. If you're using the Apple uh, pack-in headphones, it's going to work just fine. Even if you're using thinner cabled um, headphones, any other brand, it should work just fine. Uh, personally, I don't keep my headphones like this on my um, on my case. I'm not a big fan. I'm personally not a big fan of them. But for those of you out there who are looking for a case that will do this, this is one of the more innovative uh, designs I've seen. Um, again, I my personal headphones that I use are the Shure E3Cs and the Shure SE210s, and they come with a really nice, sturdy case, and I always keep them in there because, frankly, those headphones are expensive and I want to keep them as protected as possible and this is as solid as a hockey puck so that's why I like this but as far as this case is concerned um, it does a really good job of protecting the, I, uh, the iPod Nano um, if I were to score this out of 10 
it's I, I would give this one a six out of ten personally. Um, it would get a higher score, and when I say six out of ten, really a barely six out of ten. Um, but I, I, it would get a higher score if the colors were different, if it would support a thicker gauge cable. And um, I don't know how long this uh, little piece of rubber is going to last before it permanently takes on a particular shape. And um, yeah, that's another thing. And also the case at the top, if you can see that right here, sorry, I shouldn't say the top, but right over the click wheel. When you've got it wrapped with headphones on there, for some odd reason, it um, starts to buckle a little bit. So that's kind of weird. I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't know if it's just this particular case or if that's how all of them are. But um, that's another thing. And um, yeah, so this is the Ice Suit by Mac Alley. It retails for $19.99. Um, I think for this case, you know, and I, I hate to say that cases are overpriced, but I think this one's overpriced by about five bucks. Um, if this was a $14.99 case, um, it'd be a little bit more worth its money and it'd probably get a higher score. But as it stands, the most I can give this, and this is being generous, is a six out of 10. Um, yeah, so. You can get all the details from my website, techbrew.com. That's T-E-K-B-R-U.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can see, uh, send me an email, Sammy, S-A-M-M-Y, at techbrew.com. And um, as always, let us know what you think. Send us uh, what you want to see on the site, and we'll try and accommodate as best as we can. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I'm going to do it again anyway. It comes with a screen protector. That's pretty cool. That's something that uh, this, I guess, costs in itself like five bucks. So if I did mention that, Slip my mind. It comes with it. Ice Seat by Mac Alley. I'm Sammy. TechBrew.com is the site. Thanks for watching.